Hey, what's up guys? This is Anthony. Hey, so last Sunday we had a pretty good windstorm here in Vegas. These windstorms are pretty common during the summer here. You get like 30 to 50 mile an hour gusts roughly. This one came up to about 60, I believe the news said. And when that happens, it can cause some pretty good damage around the valley here. Um, lots of trees fall over. Um, car accidents happen from trucks getting rolled off the road. All kinds of different things. And we are none the latter. We had some damage done here at our house a little bit. It's not too bad. Uh, I got some work to do though. I got to fix a roof. Roxanne's got to fix some stuff in the garden that got destroyed. I got to clean up the backyard. There's like branches and leaves and all kinds of stuff everywhere. And it's strange because when the windstorms happen here, it's like a giant blow dryer. Just imagine that. Imagine a big blow dryer blowing on you all the time at like 60 miles an hour. It's really strange. So if you guys never been to Vegas, just remember if that could happen during the summer and bring an umbrella because it gets pretty hot and there's sand and all kinds of stuff blown around everywhere during the summer. So just wanted to show you guys what we get to do around here during these windstorms. So I hope you enjoy the video. If you do, feel free to subscribe if you haven't. Go ahead and leave a comment if you have windstorms in your areas where you guys live also and what you guys do to prepare for it. And other than that, let's get into the video. Thanks. Disaster. Wind, 60 miles an hour, blowing my roof apart. Now I get to change all this out. Luckily, when we bought this house, it came with like a spare one of these. So I'm gonna go ahead and get up there and start replacing this thing. Because I like the shade down here in the courtyard, and right now it ain't shady. Don't like it. get my ladder here. You got up here. It is such a pain. I need a lot of these things. Let's save them. Good thing I'm not scared of heights because of my job. What a pain. Bump your head. At least it's only a hundred right now. Instead of 110. So I guess it could be worse. And there she have it. Hopefully this holds my chunky butt. So this is the corner for here? Okay. 
Well, now on to the backyard. It's dirty. So many pine needles from these giant pine trees, which I love. But there's just so many. The whole backyard's full of them. Look. It's from the windstorm. Usually I'm out here like once a week on Thursdays. I'll come out here and clean things up. Keep it tidy so there's not so much work, but this windstorm really did a did a number on this backyard, I'll tell you guys. <laughs> I don't want to kill our grass, so I'm trying So this windstorm not only destroyed my roof, it also destroyed some of these plants in the garden. Our zucchini, our cucumber, they got blown over. And I'm gonna show you guys right now. Take a look. Go. Spiderweb. Oh. <laughs> so what happened? Well, I not only the windstorm, but I also got attacked by roly polies or pill bugs. I know they've been. They these pill bugs have been horrible. Uh, like I didn't even realize how bad. It's been something fierce. If you can see my bagel here. I mean, it's getting so bad. It's just getting. Um, but look, they've they've literally eaten all of the lettuce. There's nothing left. Our kale is still okay. Right. What else do we have right here? We had broccoli. Yeah, my uh, broccoli, I have just a little bit right there. A little tiny bit, but that's nothing. And I have cabbage here that is still surviving, but all of it. Oh, I got one in the back there that's still kind of alive. I mean, I don't know if you guys can see on this video, but there's tons of these little tiny holes, like right here, but they're everywhere. Each one of those, like here's one of these little pill bugs right here. It's just a roly poly. I know you guys know what roly polies are. But there's thousands of them in here, it seems like. And they've been eating everything. And so on top of that, here, grab that stick real quick. On, on top of dealing with these pill bugs, right? Which we didn't use any pesticide or anything on this garden. Cause we were trying to do it organic the best we could. Just to first time doing it, see how well it worked. Like look at, look at this cucumber. The wind completely like broke it, you know? Cause the 60, 60 mile an hour wind was horrendous, man. It was horrible. So if you guys have any ideas besides just tying little sticks, excuse me, which we're gonna try right now, okay? Maybe how to block this wind a little bit better, but still keep the sunlight going. We don't wanna like put a big cover over it or make a box or nothing like that. We're just gonna try something. Maybe, like I said, with these sticks or something to help it with the wind. Yes, and um, we have been using some uh, organic bug spray. Um, I've been using it for a couple days now, so hopefully. So the bug spray that we got, I don't know, I don't know if you guys use this, it's a neem oil. Okay, so we've been trying this. It seems like it might be working, but if you guys have um, a more organic kind of uh, recipe or something Natural. yeah that we can try maybe we can make it home we've heard different things I can get online and test but um, if you guys have actually done it and used it and it's worked for you guys in your garden anything that you guys can tell us to help us out would be greatly appreciated just go ahead and put it down in the comments um, and we'll try it out but we're kind of uh, upset about all this I'm devastated <laughs> I'm really Our upset. Uh, 
We're trying to do the garden the best we can. We never really had a big garden before. This is a totally new experience. And so we're trying, not everything's dead, but I think a lot of this was these pill bugs. They're just destroying. Our carrots are still doing pretty good so far. That's because they can't get down to them and eat them. But this is where we're at now, so. Got my fingers crossed that it will survive. <sighs> okay, so I'm gonna fix some of these that blew over, maybe to help bring them back to somewhat of a life. I mean, they're alive, but they're pretty frail. So I got some bamboo skewers for kebabs here. <laughs> and I got some string. And I'm just gonna put them in the ground and tie them up. At least our snap peas are doing pretty good. Yeah, it's probably gonna, I mean, for the most part. It's probably gonna be the only thing that survives. Ugh. Eat nothing but peas. <laughs> well, let's keep a, oh, no, not an open mind, but let's keep optimistic. I am very optimistic. I'm gonna try. We are trying, we're new to this. Hopefully this, uh, hopefully this will, help against future windstorms here in Vegas because okay. they are they are every all they're all the time. Well the zucchini and all of them they should be okay. Once I get hopefully the uh, stem will heal itself. Okay? That whole thing fell down that you just did over there. <laughs> Dang that wind You'd say on her knees. <laughs> you alright? I don't know. Anyway, so the makeshift, let's see if it works. <laughs> we'll see. We're still new to it. Hopefully it does. Yes, learning experience for sure. Learning experience. All right, well that's it guys. Uh, thanks for watching our video today about the windstorm we've had here in Vegas. I want to give you a big shout out to all of our new subscribers. We really appreciate you guys. Yes, thank you. If there's any videos you guys would like us to make in the future, we do have some, you know, on the back burner that we're going to do. Feel free to put it in the comments and let us know. And other than that, thanks for watching and see you guys next time.